Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at some of the new products from Brain FPV. Now, for those of you that have been watching the channel for a little while, you will know that I am a big fan of the Brain FPV technology. I first used it in a quadcopter and the big thing about the Brain FPV technology, apart from the fact that I found it to be pretty bulletproof, is it has a graphical on-screen display. So you can use it with both iNav and Betaflight and have a really unusual, very slick, graphical OSD which I find particularly good when you're flying things like fixed wing. In fact that was the last time I actually used some brain FPV electronics was in this build. Now this is the iNav 2.1 series if you're interested in iNav, go and have a look at that. Uh, I put it inside a Bixler using something called the Radix Flight Controller. That's one of the flight controllers from Brain FPV, and also with the Wing Power Distribution Board, and squeezed it in there, and it works fantastically well. Now it's been clear that Brain FPV have been thinking about us fixed wing flyers because these three new things here are kind of aimed at us pilots that like fixed wing. I do always like getting things from Brain FPV. Uh, they always put lots of wacky stuff in the box. I think that's uh, Jenny at FPV. So a big thank you to Martin Jenny for uh, giving me lots of stickers and all kinds of things. But what we'll do is let me just go through these three things and kind of show you uh, them and what's different about them because these are probably better choices now than that build that I did in that Bixler in the iNav 2.1 series. So first of all, let's start with this. This is uh, the Radix Li flight controller. It's a 20 by 20 flight controller, so it's nice and small. So for those of you that are looking to make really small wings, uh, this would be perfect. So there it is, that's the little fella. So this is, uh, is the new flight controller with all of the Brain FPV goodness on it, graphical OSD which uh, other flight controllers do not have. Uh, in the box, you have the vibration isolating mounts and you also have all the pinouts as well to connect to things like the distribution boards too. And this, as far as I'm aware, is the smallest flight controller designed specifically for fixed wing. So that's the first part. So if I was building that Bixler now, this is what I would use rather than a Radix. The Radix is a brilliant flight controller, but that means that there's lots more room to do things with. Now, before we get onto the GPS, let me do the next thing. Uh, this is the Radix Li uh, wing power board or wing just power distribution board. Again, in the last one, I've got a link down below if you want to go and have a look at what the other one looked like. I'm loving how small all of this stuff is. So there it is. So that is the new wing power distribution board. Uh, so this is perfect for smaller planes. Has a three amp BEC in here, which is fine for smaller wings. If you've only got two or three nine gram servos in your model, that three amp BEC is probably gonna be fine. Uh, if you have more than that, you're probably going to want an external BEC. Uh, you can jumper it to enable uh, an external 5 volt uh, supply, which is a really cute trick. Unlike the previous wing power board, this one has six outputs, one motor and five servos, and the current sensing was designed with planes in mind. So it is very, very accurate. It's about 50 uh, millivolts per amp output. So those two things together make an unbelievably small package for a really small wing. And I will be looking at sub 250 gram wings over the next week or two, and this could be the killer app for it. Also in the bag, we have a nice chunky capacitor for the voltage and we have uh, two sets of pins. So we've got the right angle pins. We've got the cable that connects it up to the flight controller, which is a cute way of doing it. And we also have um, bent pins too. So d no matter how you want to connect the servo leads, you've got, uh, got all the options in the bag. Last piece of kit. And this is interesting. I wasn't expecting them to do this, but they've brought out the GPS. Now, again, a GPS is really important for autonomous flying. 
look at that it even tells you exactly how to do it receive to transmit transmit to receive i'm bored of saying that in all of my videos there's nothing else in the bag in that one is there uh, so you have uh, this gps unit which is fully enclosed looks like a 3d printed enclosure in here uh, but this has a super capacitor instead of the little button battery that you get on a lot of GPS units. Um, and that button battery is there so that when you first get a lock with a GPS, it can take a little bit of time. And then the battery stores all that information about what um, the satellites it can see, what part of the constellation of satellites above it is there so that the next lock is a lot quicker. Using a super capacitor means that that charges up very, very quickly in a matter of seconds and then holds that lock after that first flight and doesn't need to be replaced in the same way that a battery does. It has very bright LEDs in here uh, that blink when it's got a lock, so that should be nice and easy to see. Uh, this would work fine under a single layer of foam, so you could mount it internally if you didn't want to uh, sh proudly show your Brain FPV logo on the top. The GPS in here has a large ground plane and does include filtering for the signal wires, so it uh, will give you improved GPS performance. But I do like the fact that you can get everything now from Brain FPV for your smaller wing builds. And this is a really cute setup. I love the fact now that the GPS enclosure is actually um, bigger and thicker than the flight controller and the wing power distribution board as well. But if you are if you're looking for a really small, lightweight build, or you don't have lots of room in the model that you're currently putting together with fixed wing and you want something like iNav, then this is definitely the one I would look at now. Uh, the Radix and the wing power distribution board before are still great choices, but these things have a number of advantages that for me make them the first choice now. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.